we are basically from real estate background in Vadodara city of Gujarat. We are coming, we are venturing into solar industry with the brand name of Future Solar. We are coming up with a manufacturing plant of a capacity of 1.2 gigawatt in phase 1 near Vadodara at Karjan. It is a fully automated line from one of the best machine suppliers in the world. We have got best uh, or fully automated, best latest technology basically. So it's a multi bus bar line and we are coming up with top one and monopark both. Yes, this is for the Indian model manufacturer. It's a, it's a very good opportunity because uh, one crore jo, the uh, rooftop segment they, what they have declared is for this is precisely for the Indian manufacturers so that we should we are in fact we are planning to grab this opportunity and to cater all the 1000 CR rooftop uh, this uh, uh, policy which declared by PM so this is a very good opportunity for all Indian manufacturers so because it's precisely mentioned and they have precisely designed for Indian man manufacturers this is a very good opportunity. Hopefully, government is taken back and government is still planning that uh, it will be bad. It will modify it in a way which is more beneficial to the Indian manufacturer. So, by issuing a notification once, government has clearly shown its intention to manufacture to safeguard Indian manufacturers. Even whatever the government projects are there with very good subsidiary subsidy providing by the government is only for the locally made uh, modules basically. So obviously government is now just analyzing uh, what is the current actual capacity of Indian manufacturers and our Indian manufacturers, India's installed capacity as a whole is capable of catering India's huge demand. So once government is clear on that, government will surely uh, come up with the policy which will surely increase the manufacturing capacity in India basically. Indian solar industry has a huge, huge potential. You can see that every uh, current manufacturer is also expanding their capacities like anything. Uh, there are different segments, utility segment is there, CNDI segment is there, retail residential rooftop segment is there. So when I talk about our organization, we are not focusing on any particular segment or any particular region. We have separate team who will cater utility segment, separate team for the CNDI and separate team for the detail segment. We will be working Pan India because we see there is a huge demand coming from every corner of the country. Even in last two days, we have, we have got someone from Chhattisgarh, someone from Uttarakhand who are asking us that we have, that when we can get the modules. So everybody is now interested and core focusing on Indian modules. So entire industry is now diverting, uh, is moving towards and preferred modules are Indian modules. Even we have uh, seen that now people are ready to pay some premium for the Indian modules, which was not the case few years back. So that's a very good positive shift. First, we will cater Indian market. We want to reach the each and every corner of this country. India itself has a huge potential. So phase one, right now we are coming up with 1.2 gigawatt of facility. Next year, we will be coming up with another 1.2 gigawatt facility. We are planning to get into the inverters also next three, three to four months down the line. We, we are also going to have our EPC vertical where we will be proposing a unique joint venture model to the existing EPC players where we will jointly execute projects with them. We will come in as a module manufacturer and a new synergy, new joint venture model would be there. So we can have our spread across the India even the small to large EPC players who have certain limitations because of the availability of the Indian modules. They are not sure in taking up a few big projects. So with our support and uh, it will be a win-win situation for both of the EPC player also and for our company also. So that's, that's how we want to cater the entire India in next six months to one year only. Obviously, tier 2 and tier 3 cities will take a lot of advantage of it. So, even Kusum Yojanas are also doing fantastic. Government has got very aggressive plans. Gujarat, Rajasthan, Maharashtra have been doing fantastic. UP has got very aggressive plan, plans. 
So government is very proactive across all the parts of the country, and now the I think the restrictions or the requirements to become an EPC player has also been uh, eased out. So more and more EPC player will be able to register themselves on a national portal and will be able to cater small to medium scale of the projects also.